Okay, uh, something else I'd like to show you about uh, how to create uh, controls and indicators. Uh, there's another way to do it. Certainly you can go to the front panel and you can uh, use the controls palette to find controls and indicators and put them on and format them. Uh, but there's another way to do it, uh, and that's to create it from the, um, the node, the function nodes in the block diagram. So if I were to put on a, um, oh, a function, let's say a numeric function um, that uh, multiplies two numbers together. And, oh, notice uh, my run arrow is broken now uh, because uh, the program can't run. You, you can't run the program uh, with the multiplication function that's not wired up to anything, so there's an error. By the way, if you click on this error, it tells you what the problem is. It shows you that there's a, in junk VI, there's an error. It says the block diagram has an error. Multiply contains unwired or bad terminals. It gives you some details of this, and if you double click on the error, it actually takes you right to it, and, uh, and then you can fix it. So, I need obviously two numeric inputs and one numeric output. Two numeric controls and one numeric indicator. And as I'm saying, I could get them by coming over here and putting on a, a number here and maybe call it X and another number here and call it Y and maybe uh, a numeric indicator here called uh, oh, product of two multiplied numbers. And I could wire those up. Hit the wire tool. Nothing wrong with that. There's another way to do it though, and that is um, I deleted those. Uh, see these broken wires? These wires not connected to anything? Control B for broken gets rid of all the bad wires. So another way to have done what I just did, other than using the front panel, instead you can right click on the terminal of the multiply and you get some options. It says uh, one of them is create well, you can create a, a control, and it makes a control. And it knew that this is an input or a control that's going to supply a multiply command, so it's smart enough to know that it needs to be a number. So it makes it a number, by default, a double precision number. Same one for the other terminal. Right-click, create another control. And it, oddly enough, knows to call it Y. And for the output, create not a control, but an indicator, and it's called x times y, and it does the same thing. It's kind of nice to do it this way, rather than choosing um, from the, the controls panel, or the controls palette on the, the front panel. If you do it this way, you get exactly the right kind of control. So for instance, um, you, you can't accidentally get a string control or a boolean control when what you need is a is a number. So it's quite a, a good way to do it. After that you could still modify them. You could change their representation to oh say extended precision and that one could also be extended precision and so on. Uh, another example very much a similar thing is let's say uh, a string function. Here's here's a string function. Really simple function is called concatenate. Concatenate takes two strings or more and joins them together into a single string. This is a resizable function. You notice it's got little resize handles on here. So it means you can have as many input strings as you want. Maybe, I don't know however many of that is, maybe there's eight of them in there. Uh, so each one has to be wired you only need as many of these as you need. So let's say I want to put in, um, take the word hello and take the name Neil and put those together. So what I could do on the first input is choose to create not a control but a constant. When I choose constant it makes a string constant, a little purple box and I can type the word hello space and I'll right click on the next input terminal and create not a constant this time but a control. A control an indicator goes on the front panel. The constant is a programmatic thing and it goes on the diagram and you can't change it when you're running the program. It, it's built into the program so to speak. But I'll put a control on um, and I'll call it um, name and I'll put my name in here 
and on the output I'll choose to right click and create an indicator and it's called contactinate string I'll change that to uh, how about greeting when I run the program now maybe you can see what it's going to do maybe you can predict how this is going to operate this hello piece of data this hello string is going to travel to this concatenate function and my name Neil in this control is going to travel into here and this function takes these two strings and joins them together into one string and outputs it to this greeting indicator so when we run it you get hello Neil okay it's quite a nice way to um, to uh, add controls and constants and um, and indicators by right clicking on the terminals of the node in the diagram and creating them that way. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a good option. I hope that helps.